Backward BFOL Brother Fans of Lego here with the once promised Lego Dimensions Starter Pack Review. I'm going to start out with the minifigs and then move on to the cool gadget, which is the Batmobile in this. I'll also be showing you the game, the instructions, the portal, the toy pad, and the exclusive checklist poster. So, move these two out of the way and start with Gandalf. He has the exclusive sign that he puts on Bilbo Baggins' door in The Hobbit. And usually these um, prints are from the person. Though on, the, on Gandalf, these prints aren't on him at all. I don't know where they got that. Those three. So he starts out with his um, zappy stick, which is a staff. <laughs> it's called a staff. All right, all right. Okay, so he has his wizard hat which is also used for in black for the Wicked Witch Fun Pack, also in LEGO Dimensions. Usually some of these Gandalfs have alternate faces, though the ones with the hats don't. The ones with the hair pieces have the alternates. So, right now we're going to shave the wizard. Oh, don't shave the wizard, don't shave the... Ouch! This is what his beard looks like, which it really gives an expression, because it looks like his face is on there. So... Here's what his real face looks like, and now you can see his body print better. And there's his back print, which when the cape was on, you could not see at all. If you want to take a closer look at the stuff, then please pause the video so you can look at this stuff. Um, so, uh, that's pretty much it for the Gandalf minifig. He can use the regular magic and things in the game. Uh, so, that's it, Gandalf from the Lord of the Rings theme. Next up we have Batman. Spoiler alert if you've never seen Batman, I'm about to reveal his true identity. Bruce Wayne! You must be so embarrassed, Batman. I am so embarrassed. I will get you. Yeah! Ow! Hey, stop! Got him. Okay, so he has the classic Batarang, which is like a boomerang, though it's a Batarang, because he puts bat in everything. He has a bat cowl, and when I remove that, you see the face of billionaire Bruce Wayne. Um, it's actually a really cool thing they do here. They put the eyes a bit lower on the face and a white headband to where the eyes on the cowl are a bit up to where you can see white eyes. And then, you know, if you've seen Batman, you know he hardly ever smiles. Well, his alternate is a smiling face. We've had that face for the Batman before. So I'm going to totally disassemble the minifig to show you the golden utility belt and bat symbol. He really is in good shape with his muscles there. And then he has his back with more of his utility belt. He has a exclusive for Batman um, cape with um, lines in it that make it look like bat's wings. So on here, again, uh, the bat symbol is correct, though the golden lines, and that is incorrect. But the black is correct for, like, his gloves or something. So, next up, he was Batman from the DC Comics Universe Superheroes theme. Um, now we have Wild Style. Wild Style is from the Lego Movie theme. She has an exclusive relic detector a uh, piece that has never, ever inclu been included before in the Lego Movie theme. She keeps saying she isn't a DJ, but basically she is a DJ. She has magenta and blue in her hair piece. And on her arm and the side of her leg, her face is... Um, she has a happy expression. And then she has kind of an annoyed face or angry she has a hood with a bit of magenta on the back of the hood. Um, so, uh, back print, these hoods are easy to go up, so just more of the lining of the paint there. So then here we have our toy tag with her name, Wild Style, and then her markings there and a bit of black. So that's pretty much it for the minifigs. Um, I'll be right back to show you. The Batmobile.
Alright, I'm back with the Batmobile for the LEGO Dimensions starter pack here. It is inspired by one from the animated series, a other Batman set that they made in LEGO, the, um, the LEGO, the Riddler Chase set. Um, it has two batterings for nice fins and a heavy propulsion rocket engine. On this one, there is a blank, unprinted toy tag that has all the information of the vehicle stored on there. When you take it off the toy tag, it can actually roll around. It's pretty fast, too. Um, this can be angled up and down, which is good. That's pretty much it for the Batmobile. It can also be turned into two alternate bids, builds, which we will do a separate video on. So next up is the game, which um, is like your normal game. And when you open it up, it has a, a booklet, which normally they include pictures in these booklets. This one has just words. And there's the disc. And then on the back, there's um, the more you collect, the bigger your adventure. And so it shows uh, Marty McFly level pack, Kai and Cole the team pack and Wicked Witch fun pack. So with fun packs you can expand your hero collection with brand new powers and abilities. With team packs you when you need backup you can call in your friends and with level packs you get more to explore with a new mission based game level. With the instruction manual it does unlike other dimensions things give you the um, exclusive for kind of the story pack things. They let you have the the building instructions here to the portal and the minifigs. Um, the Batmobile, though, is not included to be built, even though it is bag three. They do not let you build it. Um, all they, sh or do they let you build it? Um, no, no. This is continue building instructions using the in game building instructions. There's something in this uh, set that has never been done before, I think. Bag one is only figures, bag one is only two pages and that is it it's just all minifigs and then it moves on saying continue using the in-game building instructions and then look at that a circular plate exclusive for the lego dimensions things now i'll show you the portal and then we'll move on to the poster and the toy pad so here's the portal oh we accidentally got two stickers kind of sideways there. My brother did get this, but we share it when we play in-game. So, here has two blue windscreen pieces that you put your fig in on one of the toy pad sections. We have, in the game, unlocked and found all five of the keystones. You have shift, chroma, elemental, um, scale, no wait, that's scale, uh, size, and locate. Um, so, it has the portal bit, which you can actually put guys through, ah, being sucked into a dimensional vortex, and then, zoop, they're gone. So, here, over here, you have, like, a little robot thing, which I have no idea what that is, uh, supposed to be. So, on the back here, you can place your shields, like, when you're not, when you have them, you put locate here, and then, like, elemental and size over here, and then chroma and scale on one of the other ones. This thing does have a, a fair number of stickers. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stickers in this set. So that's pretty much it for that. Then we have the toy pad. Now this is the main action to the LEGO Dimensions starter pack. It has the LEGO logo here. And Lego bricks here, which can actually, you can actually, they're just like regular Lego studs, so you can make the minifig sit or lie down on them. I mean, uh, it's just a regular, regular studs. So, um, now we have the three, there you can place a, uh, seven minifigs or vehicles, it depends on what you want, uh, on the toy pad. You can place one here. One here, one here, one here, and then one here, here, and here. So, again, this, the portal just easily snaps in, just lays in there, and see the circular bit I was telling you about? Then you just chick, and it's in. 
And um, the bottom really looks like a bottom of a computer with these little rubber things. Do not place this toy pad on a metal surface. It tells you that right before you start the game. Do not put it on a metal surface. I do not know why, but I do not intend to try it out. Um, it does have a super long cord that can extend. I mean, literally, our game system is about seven feet behind me. So, it is, it's long. So... That's that, and now the last part is the exclusive checklist poster, which I've already folded out. You have one side that's one that's English, and then another side that is another language. Um, don't know which other language, but over here you have you can track your collection and grow your adventure. Then here uh, you can do the DC Comics stuff, the Lego Movie stuff. So this gives you fun packs, team packs, and level packs. Here you get Wizard of Oz stuff, um, Lord of the Rings stuff, Back to the Future stuff, Scooby-Doo stuff, Portal 2 to stuff, Midway Arcade stuff, Ghostbusters stuff, Chima stuff, Doctor Who stuff, Ninjago stuff, Jurassic World and Simpsons stuff, and um, this has, this video has been posted, or at least being recorded in 2018, so, um, Probably everybody knows now that Dimension is leaving the LEGO universe. Probably, most likely, forever. Um, we believe that they are not going to come out with any more. So, Dimensions, bye-bye. They did about nine waves. Um, so, um, the last wave had about, like, Knight Rider and, like, A-Team and exclusive golden tags that are, like, battle arenas. So you can play with friends and fight. It's four-player multi-battle arenas, which is good. So they have a little legend thing down here that just um, says that level packs, um, like, for example, of a Lego pack, a level pack, the Doctor Who level pack, which we have owned, have built, have reviewed, might have put it up here by then, but if we haven't, it will be up here soon. It gives you a character plus a vehicle and a gadget, and a new mission-based game level. Uh, then Team Packs, inspired by this one that we don't have yet, the Ninjago one with Kai and Cole, a bike and a, and a aircraft, the Boulder Bomber they call it, even though it's clearly the Boulder Blaster. Um, team Packs give you two characters, plus a vehicle, plus a gadget, but these are clearly two vehicles, which is weird. So... Fun packs inspired by, there's a lot of fun packs. There's Nia, Lloyd, Jay, Zane, and Wu, their master. Um, so, uh, they give you a character plus a vehicle or a gadget. So, that's pretty much it. The full Lego Dimensions starter pack. We've been thinking and trying to review this for a long, long, long time. Ever since we got LEGO Dimensions. So, yeah, been trying to review it. Never have gotten to review it. A lot of stuff. Opened it up. Uh, we, I believe we got this. I forget. Though we did get it pretty soon. I'm trying to fold up this poster. Just bam. Okay. So, that's it. The LEGO Dimensions starter pack. We're all good here. It's finally been reviewed. We'll do more of the fun packs, team packs, level packs. We don't have any team packs yet to date, though. So we have one level pack, but mainly fun packs, starter pack, one story pack. So bye for now. Be sure to subscribe to Boffel, brother fans of Lego. Um, be sure to check out our Winter Village and our other Dimensions reviews. I believe we put up the Bane and Emmett fun packs, the Cyberman fun pack, the... Um, probably more by the time that this video is put on there and things, but, um, bye for now, be sure to subscribe to Boffle, um, Brother Friends of Lego, so, be seeing you soon in the next video.